Alrighty guys, VoltageMan65 here, and we're back with Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshef of Destruction. So let us go take care of some more weaker stinking duelists, because they stink. I beat them all up and down the side of the Burger King. This guy's got a red hat, he looks like a Mega Man guy. A street duel named Desire? Sure, let's duel. Deja vu, huh? What the hell? Making this stupid reference twice now? All right, he's got a fiend monster. Ooh, Igaboon. He was in my first deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever. Dream, dream, dang it, light, crap. Uh, crap, crap, crap. I'll, I'll try. Oh yeah, I guess it is light that kills fiend. Well, good. Okay. I think that's why I used to defeat Merrick. Merrick Ishta. Oh, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, my favorite part. New episodes every week. It's a lie. Don't listen to him. Little Karibo, you need to make Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, like, once a week. What are you doing? One episode every year is not enough, okay? Alright, so let's see. Let's, um... Summon him. A book. I just realized he's a book with two master hands on it. Mystic Lamp. Thank God there's no genie because I would be screwed. And I'm glad the genie's not Robin Williams because that would scare me even more. So yeah, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance came out the other day. I'm so excited. I don't have cash. But the demo, it's so awesome. I'm dead serious. I was a little skeptical. I was a little skeptical of the game at first. Like the trailer they showed at the... Uh, the rigged Spike Video Game Awards. But after playing it, that's some of the best combat I've ever played. It's better than DMC, even. Well, that's my opinion, but I... It's awesome, just... Please. For Metal Gear fans, this is awesome. What the... Oh boy. <laughs> well, he's screwed. The opponent is out of life points because he smells like a bagel. Zone Eater. Oh, this buoyant sea pickle that drifts aimlessly in the water. Huh, I knew I needed to be better. You are a failure in your family's eyes. They look at you and say, What, scum? How come I didn't poke this one with the coat hanger? I'm just kidding, that's horrible. Do not, do not, let's not get into that, okay? Boop! Oh, I want the blue dude! I want... Gear him. He looks like gear him. Gear him. You must be a bad duelist if you're out here. I will serve you with some fava beans and a nice candy. <laughs> Alright, so we got a nuke, Final Fantasy, and the Phantom Jawa from the Star Wars movies. Yes, I know you're you're a human centipede. You're an ugly centipede. And yet fire is strong against forest. That's pretty much like fire against grass. If you're a Pokemon fan. Like myself. I eat, breathe, and sleep Pokemon. I play Pokemon in my sleep. Sometimes I play Pokemon when there's no one to play Pokemon with. I play Pokemon in the morning, I play Pokemon in, with my breakfast. I even had Pokemon slippers that got the little Pikachu on them. It's a household name, Pikachu.
The one-eyed monster, hey? Horatio Nelson, not to be confused with fellatio. Boop, boop, boop. Wait, dream? No, I'm not falling for that. Uh, we'll attack with you. We'll attack Mike Wazowski. Wait, what is that? Is that two dinosaurs getting it on? That's disgusting. Jesus, this is a kid's game. No, even more than a kid's game. It's a children's card game. And they support dino bestiality. <laughs> oh boy. I'm having too much fun. I, I think I needed to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just really afraid of how hard this game might be because I heard it was unforgivingly brutal. If I'm stuck, I'm gonna need your guys' help. To those who've played it, I guess. I just... I really want to beat this. And I'm... And I don't like hard games because it's just painful. Like Metro Prime 2. The GameCube version, not the Wii version. That was hard, but I somehow beat it. Actually, it was kind of easy. I thought the first one was harder. The first Prime was harder. So let's see, what do I have? White Dolphin. White Tuna. This pure white tuna has a single horn on its head. So what, it's a brony dolphin? Or something? I said all the top duels are aboard the duel, I say, express, I say I may be wrong, but I say you are pretty tough. Thanks, kid. <laughs> oh, I guess the the threesome, the green-haired threesome's not here this time. Oh, well, at least we got Waldo here. Waldo, what's up? I'll do with the deck made exclusively for the duel express Tournament. Good luck with that, sir. I bow my head to you. Seriously, this thing's irritating as hell. Why in God's name did they add this? Give me three good reasons why this thing should be on here. And I could give you a hundred reasons why it shouldn't. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, I did attack. I'm not paying attention here. I'm so angry about this freaking thing. This thing's gonna give me a seizure. Oh, that was lucky. There's a forest monster. Yeah, thanks, Konami. You know, you could be making... The time you spent making this little gidget, you could probably help Kojima make Ground Zeroes. You could be helping him make the greatest Metal Gear since 4. But no, you had to spend your time... This is like tripping and brawl. This is definitely like tripping and brawl. Unnecessary and gives me a headache. Patrick! Oh, baby. Doma. Do Domakin? Dragonborn? Do 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 Mechanical spider. This spider-like monster operates on a stem like clockwork. Maybe it's a good thing I'm on not on the Dual Express. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, kid. Alright, we'll get one more. Because it would take me like ten videos just to get all of this part. Or whatever. I'll get the little I'll get the little sweater, kid. Kid. I'll do it in a way that would make Mr. Kaiba proud. Kid, if you wanna make me proud, 
go work in my sweatshop. Start making those dual discs. Or I'll send you to China in my uh, in my Chinese Kaiba Corp studio. Where you get less pay. Seto, why did you send me to the sweatshop in China? I'm your brother. Huh? I can't hear you. I'm... I can't hear you over the sound of me making money. But, but... Shut up, Mokuma. So, morphing jar. A jar full of fun. And the guy that looks like a potato. Dun, 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 oh, oh, tuna. Thanks, free Willy. Meet Leela from Futurama. They have something in common. They got an eyeball. They got a one eye monster. A peacock? Hmm. Alright. Oops, wait, 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 wait. Alright, just to let you know, discard is not the same thing as tribute. Trust me, I made that mistake at, in the sacred cards when I was a little kid. I was like, oh, where's my Exodia? Oh yeah, I discarded him. That's a cool little thing. If you get all five pieces of Exodia, you know, like in the first episode of this, the anime, then you automatically win. No joke. No joking, kids. Alright, so that's the end of this episode. I'm Boltishman65, and we will see you next time in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshuffle Destruction. Bat was obtained. A mechanical bat that is used to undertake bombing missions. So he could stop me. And a joker. And maybe Razogu. Hey, Talia, how was it sucking my dick last night? You know, since I fight crime in a rubber suit, you know, sales in the flavor.